Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over inscribed angles and intercepted arcs by going over the theorems including intercepted arcs, an angle inscribed by a semicircle, uh, and quadrilaterals inscribed in a circle. Then we're going to look at an example and finally there'll be some practice questions at the end that you could try on your own. So first let's just go over what inscribed angles are. Um, they happen when two chords come together to touch the outline of a circle. So here we have, you know, the outline of a circle and we have these two lines, um, which are chords, right? They're not diameters and they meet uh, together at one point and on the edge of the circle here at point C. So, so this angle that it forms right here, that's 25 degrees, this is the inscribed angle. So, so there's rules about inscribed angles where it is if this is always the case, it is an inscribed angle is always half the value of the arc that it's intercepting. So it, it intercepts, notice that this angle here, angle C, goes along with this arc right here, arc AB. And notice that this is 25 degrees, the angle, and then the arc is 50 degrees, double the amount. Or, or you could see that the angle is half the arc. So that's, that's just where we get this from. So this is like the main rule to know with inscribed angles. And this is gonna lead to three different theorems that we're gonna go over today. So just to break down what this means over here, this is just saying the same thing. So we have angle ACB is equal to one half arc AB. And then we're just filling this in because we know that arc AB is 50 degrees and half of 50 degrees is 25 degrees. So just to break down what the uh, notation means here. So based on that rule, we can apply imply uh, a couple of theorems. So the first one we're going to go over is the intercepted arcs theorem. So in a circle, when inscribed angles intercept the same arc, the angles are congruent. So notice we have this arc here, arc CD. And notice we have two angles. We have two intercepted arcs from, from this point here. So here we have angle A. See how it, if we outline this, it aligns with arc CD. And then we also have angle B, which also aligns with angle C, with arc CD. So all we're saying with this theorem is, is that these angles are gonna be equal to each other because they're intercepting the same exact arc. So we know that angle A is gonna to equal to half of arc CD and angle B is, equal, is going to equal to half of arc CD. So therefore, they're going to be equal to each other. Our next theorem, we have an angle inscribed in a semicircle. So in a circle, when an angle is inscribed by a semicircle, it forms a 90 degree angle. So, so notice that this, this angle that is formed here by these two chords um, take up half, like this is a diameter, BC, and this is in half the circle. So because of that, we can infer with this theorem that this forms a 90 degree angle. So just a little background of where that comes from. If you if you think about half the circle and its value, the arc of BC that it's covering, arc BC is going to be equal to 180 degrees, right? So half of that, based on our inscribed angle theorem, half of that is 90 degrees. So that's where this theorem comes from. For the last theorem, uh, for inscribed quadrilaterals, uh, when a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, opposite angles are supplementary, otherwise known as they add to 180 degrees. So, um, so here's like the main rule down here. So if you look, we have angle A and angle C. So angle A and angle C are supplementary, they add to 180 degrees. And then angle B and angle D are also supplementary, because they're opposites. That's all this is saying. And here's just a, this, this stuff, don't worry about it too much. This is just a proof of why that's true. So if you look at um, angle A, half of arc BCD. BCD, this represents everything here, right? So that's half the circle. And then arc BAD represents the other part of the circle. So all together, we're adding them all together, half, we get half of 360, which is equal to 180. So that's where this theorem comes from. Here's um, here's just like a little summary of everything. We've just been over all the different theorems for inscribed angles and all the different things we can infer from them. And when you're ready, 
we have an example. We have this example here. Circle O has chords A, B, C, D, A, C, and B, D. Given angle C, A, B equals 85 degrees and A, C, D equals 100 degrees, find, find the following arcs and angles. So, so right away they already drew this stuff for us. We have 100 degrees here and we have 85 degrees here. Now let's see what we need to find. So angle C, D, B. So C, D, B. So this angle right here. So remember, we just went over quadrilaterals and when angles are opposite each other, they're supplementary. So knowing that, we can take 180 degrees and subtract 85. And then this will give us uh, 95 degrees, which is the value of angle CDB. So we could just fill that in over here. Okay, next question. Uh, part B, we have angle ABD. A, B, D. So this guy, this angle right here. And again, we're going to use that third theorem of quadrilaterals where the opposites are supplementary. So we're just going to take 180 degrees and then subtract it by the opposite angle, 100 degrees, which gives us 80 degrees. So that's the value of angle A, B, D. So let's just write that in. Now for arcs. So now we need to use our arc rules. So we want to find the value of arc A, B, D. So let's just highlight that on the circle. Highlight that on the circle. So arc A, B, D is all this in pink. So, so to find the value of the arc, we're gonna wanna remember that inscribed angle formula where it's the angle. So in this case, the angle opposite this arc is 100 degrees. So angle A, C, D, which is a angle ACD is equal to one half of arc ABD. So we know that this is 100 degrees is equal to one half of ABD, which is what we're trying to find. We don't know what that is yet. And then now you could just easily see to get the fraction to the other side, we'd multiply two times 100, which will give us 200 degrees is equal to arc ABD. So that's our answer, 200 degrees. I'm just gonna write it over here. So now for our last um, part of our question here, arc ACD. So now we're looking on the other side of our circle. So you notice that this is the other half of the circle, right? So knowing that a circle has 360 degrees, we can easily just do 360 degrees minus 200, which is what the other part of the value of the circle is, which will give us 160. And we'll just write that over here. So arc ACD is equal to 160 degrees. And that's our answer. And another way you could find this is by using this formula, the inscribed angle formula, if that would also work. And you'd get the same thing. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are up on my blog, mathsucks.org, and in, the link is in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!